you back from PrisChu.com. So today I'm at the Coach Lab where I will be undergoing a lactate test with Coach. So basically Coach is a training program that allows you to optimize, track and enjoy your fitness. And I have been training with Coach for a number of years for my marathons and other races. Over the years, Coach has helped me to improve my personal best from around 5 to 6 hours for the marathon to a current personal best of 3 hours and 42 minutes. I am hoping to go under 3 hours 35 in Chicago in October this year, but with this Coach Lactic test, we will see where my fitness is at and whether it is possible for me to achieve this goal. The lactate test will be undertaken by coach sports scientist Jim who is currently preparing the equipment right now for me to take the test. These are the equipments required for a lactate test. All the equipment is set up and ready for the lactate test and the treadmill is ready to go. Lactate testing is all about understanding someone's aerobic and anaerobic fitness. Now the main takeaway from this test is to establish your lactate threshold, which we would then work backwards to accurately provide heart rate and pace training zones. Now, the ability to clear lactate in your system is very easily done. All you need to do is inherently run slower, but not a lot of people know what that might look like. So with the new training zones that we provide from this test, zone one and zone two, which is also known as running easy and running steady, that will help with someone's ability to clear lactate in their system. Why? Because that's where the body engages what we call slow twitch muscle fibers. Slow twitch muscle fibers clear lactate because they're housed with what we call mitochondria. Now this is the hard and fast version of science, I won't get too deep into it, but mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and I like to refer to them as funnels. So the more you train your slow twitch muscle fibers by running easier, you will tear and grow them, so much so that that funnel will only get bigger. The bigger the funnel, the better you are at flushing lactate in your system, which is what allows you to run faster. So this whole counterintuitive by you running slower where you get faster comes into play, that's why. It's because you're enhancing your slow twitch muscle fibers. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, there's your fast twitch muscle fibers, and that's where, uh, once you cross your aerobic threshold, your body will start to incorporate those fibers. Now, they help improve your ability to tolerate lactate when it is in your system, and that's when you're running in zone three, zone four, and certainly zone five. So, when you polarize your training, and you do the easy and steady stuff, you also need to do the hard and very hard to enhance your fast twitch muscle fibers and improve your ability to tolerate lactate when it is in your system. Now we found out today with Chris's results that's something that we need to work on it seems, which is making sure she runs hard enough. It seems like she's relying too much on how she feels as opposed to what her pace zones are telling her. So with her new zones, it's going to allow her to be more intentional with her efforts and just make, make sure that she stresses her body to the correct degree to yield the right kind of adaptation she wants. And that's the end goal. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel at prissue.com. This is how we measure the lactate levels. There is one reading done before the running starts. This is the preliminary or baseline reading. And after that, it is subsequently repeated at every stage in order to see the progression of the lactate increase and see exactly when the lactate threshold is achieved. In order to get the lactate reading, the finger is pricked and blood is drawn.
this is my preliminary lactate reading 1.1 which is nice and low and good to go. I am started off at 10 kilometers per hour. This stage is still easy and I am smiling while I run. Stage 2 of the test at 11 kilometers per hour is slightly faster, but this is still a comfortable pace for me to run at. Every stage of the lactate test is 3 minutes long. Stage 2 is complete and now another measurement is taken to gauge what the lactate level is now at. The third stage of the lactate test for me is at 12 km per hour. This is starting to get slightly harder, but the pace is still relatively okay. Stage 4 is when the difficulty increases more significantly and the running starts to get much tougher because you are going at a much higher pace. Stage 5 is when the running starts to get pretty tough. This stage really exhausted me even though Coach Jim said I should have been able to do one more. Okay, so I have just finished a lactate test and Coach Jim will explain what I just did. Yeah, so we ran you through an incremental step test. So each stage that Pris ran for was for three minutes, followed by a minute of rest, because it's that minute rest that we take a lactate sample and a heart rate data reading. The idea is to go up in uh, one kilometer increments just to add a bit more stress to the body and see how her lactate accumulates as we go. Uh, the start speed should be relatively comfortable, which we establish based off an individual's 10K timing. And the idea is we do about four to six stages. Um, we can go more or less than that, but if we get the right start speed, which we have done because we've done this test before, um, we usually end around the sixth stage. And uh, that was exactly where uh, we crossed lactic threshold. So the test is relatively simple in nature, it's certainly nicer to do than any outdoor field-based test, um, but it's around about 20 to say 30 minutes of intermittent running. So basically the first three stages are pretty bearable but then the last two stages can get quite challenging like because you are going beyond lactic threshold so you really feel like you are running pretty hard. It wasn't easy but I guess I made it. Basically my lactic threshold is 13.95 km hour. Based on the lactate test, your pace training zones are calculated and these are supposedly mine. Thanks so much for watching this video. This has been Pris Chu from PrisChu.com. If you are happy with what you have watched, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel at PrisChu.com. Until then, I will catch up with you in the next video. Bye! Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, yeah?